Okay guys, well, I'm back again. Uh, so I hope you guys had an amazing summer. Mine was, mm, I'm gonna say hectic and probably a little chaotic um, because I moved. This is a whole new space for me. So I know I don't really talk about life stuff a lot in this vlog, but um, buckle in because you guys are in for a very chatty uh, life vlog here. And I feel like a lot of people are going through this now so they can relate and maybe that's what it is. And maybe it's a little bit of me just wanting to vent, but um, I want to talk about moving and I want to talk a little bit about settling back into life and just settling back into yourself, into your space and for me into my daily art practice after this huge kind of crazy interruption. So yeah, so I moved out of a house that I was in for more than 10 years into a brand new space that I, I love, I can't complain. Um, but I, uh, I didn't think it was going to be such a hassle. I really didn't. And I didn't think it was going to be such an interruption and uh, in, in just life in general. And I really thought when I posted earlier this summer that I needed to take a couple weeks off, that I, that's all I was going to need and that I would be right back posting again. But honestly, I, I was so wrong. Moving really put a pause on everything else in my life. And from prepping for listing my house to showing it and, you know, keeping it up for that to, you know, buying a new place and getting the dog ready to move, getting him to see all of his you know, getting him to all of his appointments before we had to pack him up and get him trained to get, you know, get in the car and take a long car ride to our new place. It was all just more, it was just more than I bargained for. So all that said, there were down times every day where I could pick up a sketchbook and do some work, but it was just so sporadic and unpredictable that I really didn't feel like I could focus on doing anything worthwhile and it was just so much easier to give into the temptation of just zoning out and doing nothing like any time I had the chance. Like any time there was nothing going on, it was just time to just enjoy the quiet and it's so weird to look back on it and think that I felt guilty about doing that because I needed it. I mean, and I wasn't just, I wasn't being lazy about it. I, I think there was so much going on that, you know, sometimes you need time not just to like physically recuperate, but mentally recuperate. And I just needed that quiet space to, just to be able to deal with anything that was going to come the next day. I really did try to make the best of it all. I think in my head I thought, oh, well, I should be taking this opportunity to work on my digital art. That was a thought that I had. Since all of my art supplies were all packed up, I thought maybe I'll, I'll do some digital work. But I, I just, once everything else was, you know, underway, I just couldn't. The energy and the motivation, it just was not there. So... Eventually I broke down and just kind of accepted that I was going to have to take a break. And my biggest fear when I did that was that I just wouldn't be able to get back into the rhythm of making daily artwork. And so here's the thing. As soon as I was able to get into my new space and unpack and pull out just a few supplies, just like a couple of supplies, I was ready to paint. Like I was not even joking about it. I was ready to just start working on the floor without even any furniture put together, nothing. I was just gonna prop up a box and start working and that's kind of what I did. And 
To be honest with you, it was like therapy. It was the therapy that I needed to start painting again. And I just started to feel like myself. And for a little bit every day, I could start to get back into that place where I wanted to be. And those recharge moments were exactly what I needed to realize that everything was gonna be okay. Okay, so here's my tiny little setup for right now. And here's my reference on my computer. And I've already sketched it out. And as you can see, it's on just a piece of vintage paper. I actually mounted it to a board just to make it a little bit more sturdy, but I'm gonna paint with oils on this. So wish me luck. Okay, so far so good. I have my darks blocked in and my drawing reinforced. And so I'm gonna add a little bit to my color palette in the yellow range. I think maybe yellows and reds. All right, here we are with the almost final piece. I think I'm going to do a little bit in the background. So what's next for me? Um, well, I love a good art challenge. So what better way to get back into my daily art practice than with an art challenge and it's September. So that means it's sketch timber, right? I never heard of this before. And I'm probably not going to do it right, but I'm going to do what's right for me. So for me, sketch timber is going to be about um, working in my sketchbook. So I've got a sketchbook. It's not a new sketchbook. It's an old sketchbook, but it's new to me because I just found it in a box. And it's not a good sketchbook. It's kind of a, it's actually kind of a crappy sketchbook. What I'm going to do in this is I'm just going to work on sketches and specifically working on block ends. So one of the things that um, I was able to do while I was off was do some more classes and look at some more books and really think about my process and think about what I wanted to do and what I wanted to work on when I did come back. And there was really three things that I wanna work on. Um, one is my composition. So I'm all, I've been thinking about this forever. Like this is something that never goes away. When you're working on a portrait, composition is so important because there's not there's not typically a lot going on except for your subject and whatever's going on within that. And so to be able to sort of find a place where I'm comfortable sort of coming up with a composition from all of these different random reference photos that I'm, I'm sent and being able to sort of go into each one, understanding what makes a good composition, how am I going to sort of position this uh, subject in this in this context that's going to make it compelling? That's really important to me. So composition is one. Two is likeness, and not just getting a likeness, but getting a likeness quickly. Um, the proportions are right. The placement of the features are correct for this particular subject. So that's the other thing. So getting that and getting that quickly and maybe not so much quickly, but early. That's what I mean, early, early in the piece. And then the third is um, just making sure that my lights and darks uh, are, are cohesive. So being able to create a, a cohesive uh, light and shadow pattern within the piece that then extends to that background. So that then again speaks to not just sort of the um, shaping the form of the piece of the subject, but being able to really design that dark and light that puts that subject in the context of the place where they live, right? The background and everything. So it all comes full circle. And that's, that's what I want to work on. I've been adjusting my work to sort of try and maximize for those three things. And my process has, I won't say it's changed, but it has adjusted and shifted as I've learned different styles, different techniques. I've kind of added them to my process. So I'm sure I'll create a whole other video just on that. But that's what I'm going to practice in sketch timber in this sketchbook. So just block ins, just sketches and just those three things that you'll be looking for. Yeah, 
that's it for me. As you can see, I'm still in this messy space and uh, I've got to go do some cleanup, do some more unpacking. Aside from Sketch Timber, I am also opening up in my Etsy shop some of my uh, some commissions for the holidays. So if you're interested in getting one of those, you can go to my Etsy shop. If something's sold out, you can always just message me. If you don't see what you're looking for, if there's a style that you saw over on Instagram that you don't see available in my Etsy shop, just send me a message and let me know. It's, it's probably just sold out and I can always relist it for you. But if there's something custom you need, I'm happy to list that for you as well. But yeah, other than that, I'm gonna get this place unpacked, get it cleaned up eventually maybe get some of this artwork up on the walls. I've got a lot of it collected over the past couple of years and um, it would probably be a good idea to put it up and appreciate it and not just leave it in a box. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. So I hope you didn't mind this chatty vlog. Um, I hope I hope it was helpful for you um, to understand at least why I was away and what are some of the things that I'm dealing with and what are some of the things I'm hoping to get done, um, hoping to do in the coming weeks. So one of those is obviously doing more of these vlogs. So if you like it, if you want to see more, guys, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I would love that. It would make my day and it would help me be inspired to make more of these videos. So I'm gonna get to work and I'll see you next time.